Relentless just came in with Captain Paul. I know it was windy and rough, but tell us what you guys got into this morning. Uh, we kite fished for the first two hours and didn't get our target sailfish, and it was on the rough side, so we decided to look for permit. And some spawning schools of permit just showed up out there, like a hundred fish or more in the school. And we uh, cast a little live crab back there, a 20 pound braid. They sucked us off the first three times, lost three crabs, and then the fourth one we got him, and he was. Right, 28 pounds, 30 pounds, yeah, big fish, big, nice. big spawning female. So this this time of year, the springtime, most of the time the inshore boats catch permit, but this time of year, like late March, April, May, out there on the wrecks, they spawn and they get some really jumbos. So that was good. And south wind at 20 plus knots, right? Yeah, it's a great thing this time of year because if we don't get our sails and the mahis aren't there, the permit are always there for us for the next couple of months. Perfect. For catching. All right, well, thanks for that. We're gonna wait for a few more boats to come in, hopefully get a few more reports. We're here with Captain Brooks. He just came in on the Provider, which is a 34 Freeman. I know it had to be rough out there, right? Yeah, it was extremely rough. <laughs> it was on the rougher side, only a handful of boats fished today, but they went offshore and tell us what you caught. Uh, they wanted tuna and dolphin, so we went to the hump. It took us about an hour and a half to get out there. Get in my belly! <laughs> and, uh, That's a pretty sight. Took us about an hour and a half to get out there, and we ended up catching some tunas. They're not very big yet. It's going to take some time. Yeah, the footballs. Um, hopefully the bigger ones will show up. We threw a little bit of live bait, but we don't have quite enough yet to uh, to get them going with the live sure. baits. But other than that, that was all we saw. No right, mahis. And... All right, well, there's some football black ones around there, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and you made it back safe. People are happy, right? Everybody's happy. Yep, we're back home safe. Awesome. Everybody's happy. Well, so just caught them trolling yeah. or jigging? Trolling it. Actually, right, yeah. so they trolled up some black yeah, fins, you guys. Say, was it a half day or three quarter day? It was a three quarter. Okay, right, so they did a three quarter day, and a lot of boats won't go way out there to the humps 20 miles on a half day, but some of these faster boats like this, sometimes they can, but a three quarter day is safer bet. So, all right, well, thanks for that. Yep. Hopefully the wind calms down soon, make it a little more uh, easy going. Yeah, we could, hopefully, hopefully. It's a beautiful day here. And I'm right, a little front pass through last night. The wind dropped down finally, finally. It was howling yesterday. Captain Dylan's here on the BM, the 34 foot Crusader. He's cleaning some yellow tails. He already cleaned a mutton snapper. How'd you catch the mutton? Out of the kite, I think I saw. Yeah, the mutton was in the kite. We were bringing it in, changing baits, and sunk out and got bit. It's kind of a day maker, it's the biggest fish of the day. So there you go, good eating. Now we good. can't show you the mutton here right now, but you can see the fillets. This is a yellow, there you go, mutton right there. That's what's left on, that's gonna be dinner. Yellowtail snapper here, and they're starting to spawn now, so this next month or two will be really good for them, you know, yeah. all through late April and into May. Um, I see a kingfish, my yellowtail is a mutton. Yeah. So, some we reef left, action. We left a little late today, we caught, we caught some bait, and uh, the bait was a little tough, but we made it happen. When you're snapper fishing, you're using a lot of the dead bait in the chum, yeah. so you can kind of always get out there and, and bend the rod on that. We had a half day, so we just, we had the kite out the whole day and we got our one bite and kind of capitalized on it. Kind of a kind of a cool thing while you're snapper fishing to have the kites out. Are you busy the next couple of days, next week or two or what? Um, trips I, there? I, you I, I, it's, it's getting nicer out, so that's good. So I know I got a few days going here and there. Yeah. So it's good right now. But you got a few days open, so someone wants to come down and go out, right? Absolutely. Um, this weekend is good. Uh, I think it's flowing like 25 tomorrow. But it's coming in and out, so that's fish should start moving around. You know, it should be good. You know. All right, good. So, Dylan has the B and M. It's a 34 Crusader. Take up to four people, right? Yeah, we're licensed for six, but we like to take four. Four is comfortable on there. Yeah. And uh, good price for the boat there. Squid's the first mate. Tyler's his real name, but we call him Squid the last 20 years. So uh, <laughs> the name that's stuck. Yeah. Thank you for the report. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, hopefully, it starts picking up. Yep, so coming down here, you guys go fishing. The windy weather has been kind of uh, the plague this winter and early El Nino. spring so far. El Nino. Maybe I'll need I don't know if it is or not this year. But we got a lot of more boats out fishing, so we'll get those guys when they come and we'll show you what the rest of the boats caught. Oh, yeah. So I got a sandwich from PR Cafe. That's the cafe on the property here, but check this bad boy out turkey bacon club, lettuce, tomato. Ooh, that's a giant. Look at that. Thing. Looks like a good sandwich, right? Yeah. Did you have good, fun? good sandwich. Did you have fun with Dylan today? The best. You recommend him? Absolutely. Was this your first time fishing with him? It was. Where are you from? Jersey. Jersey? There's North a lot of people North Jersey. 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 North Jersey. North Jersey. North Jersey. Okay. North Jersey. Okay. North Jersey. <laughs> All right, and you had fun? Squid and Dylan took good care of you? Yep. Uh, nice. Tyler? Good yeah. man. 
Yeah, Tyler's his real name. We call him Squid for 20 years, so it's hard for me Squid. to call him. Squid. It's hard for me to call him. Was that, is that a nickname when you were a cub or what? Oh yeah, he was a cub there, yep. All right, what was your name? <laughs> what was your name? Jimmy. Jimmy, well thanks for coming down here fishing. Hope you'll be back. I'll be back twice a year, whether I need it or not. Perfect, a good excuse to get out of so, New Jersey, right? So the expedition is back in business the last couple months, you guys. Captain Wes is here. Looks and, like you had a good morning. Yeah, yeah, no, it was real good. We had uh, one angler and we caught a couple of nice kingfish, bucket full of yellowtails, released a trophy size uh, Barracuda, and in the end, we let go of a nice sailfish on the kite bait. I saw the flag flying, so I knew they got a sail. <laughs> it all helps. The weather improved drastically today, right? Yes, it did. Way better than yesterday was. I bet. <laughs> all right, how's the boat running? Everything good? Yeah, everything's great. Couldn't ask for more right now. There's a nice king in there. Some people eat them fresh, grilled. I like them smoked. You like them smoked too, right? I do a lot of smoking with them. Yep. The yellowtail snappers, I like the sailfish go. You can see the flag way down there. All right, well, thanks for the update. No problem. Captain West on the expedition. We're From getting a history lesson neighbor, here. Man. What's your name again? Tim DiMartino. Tim. They have a long connection to the Keys down here. Oh, yeah. All right. You had fun today? Yeah, we had a blast. Well, you've probably had some good days here over the years, right? Oh, yeah. And the Keys fishing? Dude, after Hurricane Andrew, we went probably six miles offshore. We right. got almost 140 dolphins. <laughs> That's the good seven, old days. Seven sailfish, right. uh, school of pilot whale. Yep. Oh, that is a big bonita. The tan man came in. I see a big bonita is coming out so far. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, awesome. I'm a subscriber. Yeah. Yeah. Montana. Montana? Yeah. It's a long ways away. What's everyone's name? Mike. Mike, good to meet you, Nick. Nice to meet you. Trevor. Trevor, good to meet you. Steve. How are you? You didn't have time to eat your lunch out there, catching too many fish? Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. We all, I think we all came back with the sand. Okay, gotcha. Is it from here? Yep. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, good. I see the bacon. I, I like that. bacon. They said you missed a wahoo bite, but I see dolphin, I see bonitos, <laughs> kingfish, blackfin tuna. Bag? Yeah, everything. Have you done this before? Trophy, baby. Yes, this is our fifth time down there. Fourth or fifth time. Always here, other places. Here. Always okay. here. Yeah. Yeah. With Matt before or now? Yeah. yeah, a couple of the guys have been. Okay. I think yeah. I've been with. I think I've been with Matt every time. Have I ever Bad seen you before? Tuna, I feel like I would recognize that mustache if I had. Yeah. It's pretty nice mustache. <laughs> I used to have one, so I respect the one I see. One. And the Wahoo got away. Yeah. Yeah. Came out of the air for a little it bit. It did. You yeah. saw? Yep. They said they were trolling. And they had the pile on Wahoo bite. Do you recommend Matt? Ten out of ten. Ten, ten out of ten. ten, 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 ten. How many years ten. in a row is this now? I got four. ten. Four years in a row. I've only owned the boat four years. <laughs> All right, I recommend. Matt. How about Ryan? And awesome. you guys got you guys got yellowtails too? Yep. How many? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. Really? Well, the guys got a bunch of fish. A bunch of yellowtails. They got dolphin, giant bonita, a couple of blackfin. They said we want to hang bodies, not flags. It's perfect. <laughs> All right, so they weren't chasing selfish, so they got the, <laughs> they got it. All right, well, thank you for your time. Good job yeah. on your day. Yeah, man. Let's keep moving. Maybe AJ hey. will hit another one in the eyeball and make it believe. Hey. Cowbell right here is like your biggest fan, dude. Is that your nickname, Cowbell? Yeah. Well, the shorts. Look. Cowbell. Right, shorts. <laughs> Cowbell. 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 All right, Captain yeah, Scott's yeah, leaving. Thank you. Bye, guys. Appreciate it. Don't take any wooden nickels. Did you catch the most fish today, Scott? I don't know. I don't know. All right, you guys got a bunch of dolphin, it looks like. Black fin tunas, a couple of big skipjacks. That was AJ. Did you, another, did you get another haircut, AJ? Yes, I did. I think Landon was copying me because he got a haircut right after me. Yeah, elbow looking baby faces. Everyone's cutting the hair around here. You guys have been fishing here a lot of years now, right? A few. And you guys went offshore. Most boats it seemed like stayed on the reef, but you guys found some eyes, huh? Yeah, we took a risk. It's still on the early side. Some boats just poking out there a couple weeks ago. There was some money around that it got tough for a week or two, but we got eight or ten of them, right? Nine, it looks like. Another couple more in the bucket. Eight or ten blackfins, right? All right, so a little offshore mixed bag. Blackfin tuna, mahi, and skipjack tuna. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we had a check, make sure they wanted to be filmed. Some people don't like being on camera, but they said they watched. So the real McCoy just came in. Some jumbo yelltails, some average yelltails, and a sailfish release two to boot. Let's get a little uh, feedback from the guys today. Who caught the sailfish? That was me today. Your first one or you caught him before? First billfish, so I'm pretty cool. Now you're supposed to get thrown in the water, did they tell you that? 
They haven't told me that. I knew it was a thing for Marlin. But. Yeah, it's a thing for sailfish too. But there's so many sharks around nowadays, we can't throw you in here because if you got bit by a shark, it wouldn't be very good. What's everyone's name? Perry. Perry? I'm Ryan. Ryan, good to meet you guys. First time here, or you've been here before? First time, first time here. Okay, awesome. Where are you from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Maryland. Maryland? Okay. How was Raymond and uh, Cody down there today? Good? Good. They're awesome. Fun? Did really well. Yeah, put us on the fish. We recommend them. Cody For sure. guest sure. appearance. We had a great a celebrity time. appearance there. You taking some fish home with you or just eating some here or what? Just eating some here. We okay. got to fly back, so okay. can't really take them then. It's a little tougher when you're flying for sure. Where'd you guys stand down here? Uh, we're staying in one of the houseboats right, oh, right here. here. Right yep. in the marina. All right, which one? Uh, we are in Mama Linda. Mama now. Linda? Had a little AC issue last night. Oh, but the now AC we're broke. in Mama Linda. So. Okay. See, that happens. This is real life. Sometimes AC goes out. Yeah. Well, at least they upgraded your problem, right? Yeah. The mom yep. is nice. Yeah. Who got the queen? Who got the full size bed? Who got the twin? Uh, well, we didn't sleep in that oh, one. Oh, tonight's first night. night? Yeah. yeah. All right, they get to fight over that tonight then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for your time. Glad to hear you had fun. Yep. So you recommend Raymond? For sure, Absolutely. recommend him. You gotta say it while I stand here, right? Yeah, of course. Ray, how long have you been fishing right. down here? Uh, since 1983. That's before I was born. I'm 39, so that's 41 years. All righty, we got some more boats coming in, but y'all tell us on the reef and a sailfish. We'll keep moving. <laughs> Kids all have fun? Yeah. Yep. You catch some? Yeah. Somebody, catch somebody watches all your videos and now she's embarrassed. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, we agreed that. They had a fill in Captain Walter. They put yeah. the band back together and Josh yeah. and yeah. Jude. As soon, soon, as, soon as John got his 30 foot throws down, we were golden. Okay, perfect. How many people went today? 10 total. Five Ten. adults, five kids. And you're a kid at heart, right? You're damn right. I'm probably the one, that, well, except for John, I might be the biggest kid out there. <laughs> there you go, perfect. They got a bunch of yell tails. Grandma the probably, girls outfish everybody? Grandma cleaned up on everybody. Grandma caught all the big ones. They're usually, <laughs> girls are usually better fishermen, I swear. They, they listen better, you know? So, grandma they do got, better, right? Grandma caught all the big ones. Did you catch any? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uncle Kevin played Jack with a shark for a half brain. hour and then let it go because he couldn't he couldn't catch it. Okay, that'll happen. Yeah, it comes, How are you going to cook all the yellowtails? Fry them up? We're going to bring them. Going to lazy, lazy days. days? Okay, perfect. Well, Looks like you guys had a fun day. Glad to hear it. Yeah, excellent time. Captain Walter filled in. He ran the party boat for like 30 years. He filled with in for these John guys. guys. With Josh and those guys. And Jude, I forgot that too. Yeah, yeah. The, the band's back together. together. Broad Miner just came back in with Captain Mike and their guys. They got a nice swordfish, 201 pounder. We got a few barrel fish. They got some blackfin tuna. Yesterday it was blowing 20 to 25 out of the south in the morning. And, uh, you know, it dropped out last night the wind and calmed down today and they could run 30 miles out there. They got the big swordfish they were after, so I'm happy to see that. We're going on the boat now with the kids, so we're taking off. But, uh, Good to see some nice bits, some nice quality swordfish around the last couple of weeks there. Springtime, this is when we still have our big fish. So, you know, they had like a 250-ish not too long ago, 200 pounder a day, and another big one a few weeks back. So, good to see, good to know Brooks from the provider went with him to help out. So that's gonna wrap up this fishing report. We also just talked to Relentless. They, uh, you know, fished for some sales. They said it was slow overall, but they did let go a nice permit at the end of the day and they missed a few others. They had a kingfish and a mutton snapper, so a couple meat fish. Gimme Jimmy had some yellowtails and, uh, I'd say half the boats today did pretty well and half the boats did okay. Springtime, so a little bit of this, a little bit of that, moving around. A few boats are still out, but it's 3.30, so I'm heading home now. That is gonna wrap up this mid-April fishing report here at Bud and Mary's, but nice to see a few dolphins showing up there, like on the catch two with those guys. And Captain Walter, like I said, he's thrown the party boat there for years, and he still fishes here a little bit here and there, and he ran That's Right. And that's the only boat here at this marina, and one of the only private charter boats in town that can take more than six people. Most of the boats are limited to six people due to Coast Guard relations, so they can take up, I think like 23, but they had 10 people and they had the kids, so it was really good seeing them at the end hold up their fish, and uh, I know they were all happy. So, I'm heading home, but if you guys wanna come down here and go fishing, give the Marine Office a call. We'll have all the info linked below. Remember, there's lodging here as well between the houseboats and motel rooms, and hopefully we'll see you down here on Amrata soon.